Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Forsaken City in three, two, one, go. Okay, both players showing us uh, how to get through Forsaken City extremely quickly. And uh, we're going to be kind of looking at every little mistake at this level. Little mistakes are are really, uh, they add up. So little mistakes become become bigger. Whereas if you're running at a level where maybe your PB is in the 50s or the 40s, you can get away with a lot of more deaths and a lot of, uh, a lot of small errors. Where these guys, uh, each little mistake is really going to add up now. Comet had an early death and has quickly close that gap and now is uh both players almost simultaneously making their way this is i love this i want to have like a channel points redemption for this the sync up when the sync up happens during a race i think it's so so cool these guys looking like they're on the same uh oh my god okay that was don't ever do that again guys you both just died the exact same way oh no on the exact same screen please don't ever do that again that's fine that was really weird <laughs> okay uh, all right, and both players now to the final screen. They're going to do a quick wall climbs. Ooh, fell struggling there. And Comet takes advantage, closing the gap, taking the lead and finishing out. Both players now quickly. Wow. That was insane. <laughs> Amazing. Palm Top says to mute the other person's screen share. I think you can just hit uh, deafen. I don't know if you guys have that. Uh, deafen, deafen just lets us not hear anything. Yeah, you're good. You're good. It's fixed. Okay. Yeah, definitely Let, just lets us not hear anything else. Let's take call. a look at those uh, at those journals here. Oops, uh, sorry. Fine. Oh, hey, no problem. No problem. Um, I was, I was, I think um, it was like a was, comment with a something. comment with a 108, and uh, we'll just get to the postcard screens here as we get time. ready to enter old site. I had to sacrifice a little time to mute myself because there was a lot of that. Yeah. Okay. I missed the wall bounce in the coffee shop room three times. <laughs> Okay, here we go. If you guys are ready for old site, we're gonna get right into it. In three, two, one, go. J Roy in the house. What's up, J Money? Welcome in, welcome in. Here we go. This is old site once again. It introduces these uh, dream blocks, which you can uh, you can dash through them, and they will give you your dash back. You can also... Uh, Holy moly. Whoa, fell with an uncharacteristic death there. Oh, no. Fell, now getting stuck. The bad side of muscle memory. Oh, no. Comet zipping through. Both players smooth now. As Comet, the first to reach the battle and chase sequence. I might get some noise in the background. See if I can get a chance to meet my mic. Oh no. No prob. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> really quick stuff from both players here. Fell gonna have to make up a little bit of time and hope that Comet stumbles as he is now on the second to last of the chase screens. Ooh, Comet narrowly avoiding a battle in there into the final drop. At this level, everything is done uh, just narrowly. Comet now, um, showing us how to keep your momentum through the uh, awake section that Fell is now just entering. You're going to see a lot of uh, ultra dashes, uh, which you do by uh, doing an extended hyper um, and then uh, da dashing down forward with the proper timing. Also, you're going to see uh, both players doing um, corner boosts on some of these corners to give themselves a little bit of an extra momentum kick. Comet is through and Fell is through. Nicely done by both runners. Comet clocks a minute 48 old site. Um, not the best start for me, but we'll make it up for sure. Fell with a two minute old site. Uh, totals now for Fell, a three minute 43 second 
uh, total in Comet with a 327, so about 20-ish seconds in between. Winnable. Definitely anybody's game here as both players are preparing to enter the Celestial Resort, AKA the Meatball Motel. And here we go. This is it. This is Celestial Resort. Comet V fell beginning in three, two, one, go. This is my favorite chapter. Thank you for that clip. Palm Top Tiger. Super strange synchronized death that happened there. Hey, Blurg Bay in the house. What's up, like Blurg Bay? Up How's it going? Smoke Pigs here as well. Smoke I Pigs. Like Legendary Smoke Pigs. Shout outs, please. To Smoke. We recently PB'd with a uh, 54 in change. Oh. Very good. Very good smoke. Let's go. GG. Fell first one to the uh, unlock door, but very close now as the player's almost syncing up. Comet gonna have to close the gap a little bit. Fell gonna have to hope that uh, Comet makes some mistakes so he can uh, make up some time here. And just like that, that one room, Comet has taken the lead, but it is a very narrow margin. Comet grabbing the key, fell grabbing the key, and now both players neck and neck as they make their way to the huge mess room. Now this is a room deceptively tricky to speed run because there's not really any danger. There's no spikes, there's no enemies. Uh, but these, uh, these stacks of uh, books and, and sheets uh, have a lot of little nooks that you can get caught up in and you can lose your momentum really quickly and uh, get turned around. Comet showing us how you get through it quickly and fell right on his heels. If you guys want to learn how to go fast, now's the time. Pull out your notebook and take notes. Comet, first to clean up the first section. Fell right behind. J Money says the book room is probably least favorite in the whole game. It's definitely tricky to do fast. Ooh, Comet taking a death there. That's what Fell needed. And now both players sinking up as they reach this second bubble. Ferrore pulls out notebook, writes, don't attempt this, puts notebook away. <laughs> Probably good advice for our. Ooh. Ooh, both players dying to the first meatball in this uh, in this room. Interesting. Uh, we both went for this yeah, it's funny. Both trying to shave some frames. It's a lot of uh, a lot of mental game here, guys. Um, by knowing if you're ahead or behind, you're gonna you might take a little bit more risky. I'm just hoping he'll die to task cycle. Very interesting there. Comet actually got hung up on one of the stairs leaving that water room, allowing Fell to uh, to catch up. And now we're looking at mirror images, practically. Both players into this four key room. Ooh, Fell taking a death now, allowing Comet to pull ahead a little bit. <laughs> oh, this is the worst room. <laughs> this four key room uh, giving Fell some trouble. Comet now approaching the demo dash screen. Will he take the safety? Uh, screen transition. No, he won't. He's going for it. And first try through the demo dash. Well done. Ooh, but taking a death there in the next room, allowing Fell to catch up a little bit. Let's see if he takes the safety screen. Nope. First try through. Wow. Very professionally done by both runners. That is a um, a pretty, uh, pretty precise movement that they do there to skip through the wall. And uh, you can kind of save yourself... Um, having to play that whole screen over if you take the uh, bottom screen transition. Uh, both players opting not to, rolling the dice. And it pays off now. Both players on the roof and uh, running for Moshiro as quick as they can. Oh, no. Both players now actually on the same screen. 
Comet a little bit ahead as Fell struggling now with the death cycle. A lot of long screens here, uh, and a small mistake can cost you a lot of time, especially if you're towards the end of one of these screens. You're going to see Comet now absolutely blasting through the final screen here. Many players struggle with this screen casually, and Comet making it look very easy. Fell now, collecting gems and onto the final screen. Missing his cycle a little bit, and gonna have to uh, rely on some speedy backup strats at this point. Nicely done, plays it safe to Odoshiro there, and finishing out the level. GG's for both players. GG's. Oh, you can? Okay, how do I mute that? So, under the more screen share options, there's a volume. Okay. So just turn that all the way down. More screen share options. It should be like when you when you like it should be to the left of the leap. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Is what's it up, Power? Stop. Oh, I see. Yep. Okay. Should we get now? Thank what's you. up, Power Ring? Welcome in. Welcome in, guys. Uh, let's let's take a look <laughs> at the uh, let's take a look at the journals here really quickly. Uh, for comment, that was a four minute thirty four second resort, and for fail, a four minute fifty seven second resort. <laughs> um. So yeah, Comet still in a slight lead here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, postcard screens as we get ready to enter Golden Ridge. I'll make up time here. You'll see. I'm okay. Low on energy and a pinch. Jumping away from walls doesn't. You know, it's been a while since I've read these. It's been a <laughs> very long time since I've actually read these. Okay, both these guys used to going very fast, which includes not reading anything. Reading is slow. Okay, guys, uh, we're ready to get into the Golden Ridge chapter. Runners are ready. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Metagloria says 220 Ridge incoming. GG, good luck to both runners. Oh, very nicely done by Comet there, showing us how you can uh, yeet yourself oh, no. through this whole screen uh, using a uh, combination of um, uh, wall, what is it called? Not a wall, uh, corner boost. Hold on, very important strap. Oh, yeah. I'm coming up on it, too. Nicely done. Comet executing that very nicely, and Fel going to show us here how you can... Boost yourself quickly into this bubble, grab both keys, and then uh, right out. Very nicely done from That's both players. Cheap. Comet getting a little bit hung up there, but uh, not a huge time loss. Just very, very, we're looking at very, very slight uh, time losses here. I'm doing this. Comet this. showing us how you can uh, do this oh. room completely blockless, but taking a costly death there at the end. Wow, that's going to swing the time. No Fell way. desperately needed that. <laughs> It'll be a lot more than needed to swing this time. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be cool. No, I should have done it too. Oops. You can see Fell there showing us how you can uh, skip the second half of that auto scroller room. Very speedy stuff here from both guys. Ooh, Comet taking a death there. Getting a little bit stuck here in this room, allowing Fell to catch up. Actually, uh, both players now on the same screen. Fell hoping Comet makes a few more of those mistakes. We're going to see uh, both players, I think, here uh, doing this pretty cool strat where they use the momentum of this auto-scrolling block to boost themselves through a tiny gap. And both players showing us how it's done on the first try. Really nicely done. We're good. We're good. Nice save there from Fell. And Comet, the first to the cliff face. Chosen Undead bringing in a party. Welcome in, Chosen Undead. Welcome in, Raiders. Metallic Salad Fork says, no second block. Let's shake my head. What's up, Chosen Undead? Welcome in. Shout out to Chosen Undead. Thank you so much for bringing it in, Cho. 
both players now navigating these bubbles, this wind. What wind? <laughs> these snowballs see. and Comet. First to the final screen. Fell not far behind. Oh no, I did it again. <laughs> and Comet finishes it up. Fell just a few seconds away from closing it out. And both players are through. Very nicely done. Let's take a look at those journals, please. You got it. This is some sort of run I'm on, that's for sure. Comet with a 256 Ridge and Fell with a 309. Bring the totals to 1150 for Fell, 1101 for Comet. Speedy, speedy stuff from both players. Comet clearly in a groove, and Fell's going to have to hope that Comet makes some mistakes as we enter Mirror Temple. That's where you're wrong. I don't even have a laptop. Oh, jeez. I'm in trouble then. I'll have to send an assassin. Okay, here we go. You're going to see both players taking a mirror temple uh, from 5A into 5B. And uh, you're going to see it happen pretty fast. So if you guys are all ready, let's get into it. Mirror temple in three, two, one, go. All right. Okay, so the first uh, skip you're gonna see here is the key skip where uh, both players are gonna launch themselves uh, horizontally through a narrow corridor of spikes. Both players uh, doing the ickle skip method. Oh, no. Ooh, and fell taking a death. Actually, both players taking a, taking a death there, I believe. Interesting. Interesting. Comet, the first one to the key door, but very narrowly as they're as both players are pretty well synced up here. Uh, they are now going to make their way. Oh, you see, uh, Fell exploiting a, a cutscene. Um, well, let's see. Here's the depth corner boost for both players. Comet executing it perfectly, and Fell getting about 98% of it. Uh, really, really speedy stuff here. As both players make their way to the cassette, which unlocks. B side for this level. Such gaming right now. Nice one cycle there from Comet. And Fell as well. Both players one cycling, reaching the cassette at nearly the same time and unlocking the B side. Here we go. We are gaming. Oh, I just kind of started it. Was that all right? That, that's fine. No, fine. No problem. Good luck with Bubs Drop. <laughs> everybody. Good luck, well, everybody, never, with Bubs like, Drop. You, know, you never like to see Bubs Drop misses and races. It is a very uh, small frame of success for the Bubs Drop, and uh, what you're going to see as Comet approaches it here first is uh, players going to leave the screen and hopefully fall back down onto it. There we go. Nice first try, Bubs, for Comet. Uh, Fell right behind and misses it, but opts to uh, back out to the map and re. Uh, relaunch. Try a second time here as um, uh, there we go. Oh no! Oh, second try failure from Fell. As Comet makes his way through these through these long screens with these uh, these cycling spikes, Comet taking a death there. Prayers for Fell right now for this fourth Bubs Drop attempt. Oh there we go. We got it. We got it. He's through. And Comet taking a death actually here as he enters the... Uh, ooh. Comet getting a little bit stuck. A little bit stuck on this first screen of the final section. Ooh. Comet missing a, a few a few times here. Allowing Fell to catch back up a little bit. All part of the plan, making it close race. Yeah. Everything going according to plan. My assassin should be there any moment. <laughs> Comet struggling here in this uh, this final section here. Oh. 
Comet the first to do it. Both players are going to manipulate the uh, explosions here that these um, these seekers give off when they die. Okay, we'll leave the farewell music going. It's pretty good music. This just in. <laughs> this is the news music. Breaking news. Breaking news. Oh no. Lil Kakeoff in the house. Farewell run hype. Not today, Lil Kakeoff. We will have to do an actual Moonberry run though, since this is the Moonberry Cup. I think that would be that would be cool. Maybe even just starting from the final uh, checkpoint of farewell. Both players now into the Theo section. Oh my god, Comet with an awkward death there. Wow, both players really struggling here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Very nicely done by Comet as he wraps it up. Fell is going to have to try to minimize the damage as best as he can. He is in full, full backup mode at this point. Comet with a 4 minute 25 second mirror temple that includes both A and B. Many players would be happy to have a 4 minute 25 section uh, temple B. Oh my god, I can't believe it just happened. Neither of us like to see times above really 355 roughly, I would say. Yeah. But that's the magic of races. Ickle Chris says, Fail could use a shower. I could. I, mean, I already took one, but it was a lot earlier. It's there we go. Both players are now through. Mirror Temple, well done. Oh, man. I think that was fourth try above the strap. Let's see what the damage was. Comet with a 1526 up to this point and fell with a 1652. We got about a minute and a half difference here. <laughs> Heading into reflection. Now, are we going to see both players into uh, B side reflection? No, neither of us actually do B side oh, okay, reflection. Okay, so both players are going to do uh, reflection A side. Yeah, both of us are desperately holding on to the, the 6A dream at this point. <laughs> Uh, sure, let's do this song. Okay, both players are ready at the postcard screen. We're going to get into Reflection. Comet is going to have to really uh, make some mistakes here, and Fel's going to have to clean up his act if he wants to close the gap. Maybe if Comet like, accidentally goes into 6B. It's <laughs> Accidentally, if Comet unlocks 6B and runs it? Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's true. That's probably, that's probably the play. Where's the 6B? <laughs> All right, guys, we're ready to go. Prayers for Lake Skip. Also, let's prayers for uh, Lake Skip, everybody. Runners at your marks that's a racing term right something like that runners to your marks and we're gonna run reflection in three two one go thank you palm top actually i should probably bring up uh both runners volumes i don't know if i can do that at this point but i'll just duck the music a little bit yeah that's a good idea Okay, we're going to see Lake Skip here. Comet, first try Lake Skip. Very nicely done. That's an extremely precise move. Fell getting on the second try. Nice. That's, that's acceptable. We take this. Lake Skip is a uh, what I like to refer to as a flex strat. Uh, most players don't have to do it. It's not going to save you that much time, but it is going to lose you time if you try it and fail it. Um, but uh, when you get to a certain level like these guys are on, you... Um, you really want to save every frame you can. Well, I guess the, uh, the the padding there is that it breaks even if you just miss it once versus not doing it. So it's worth worth an attempt, I think, depending on what your goals are for the game. Okay. Watch and learn here, guys. This is absolute speed from both players. This section is uh, speed on his nightmare, by the way. <laughs> this this pre-battle pre and fight is, oh, it's awful. 
Let's see if Comet does this uh, double wall break here. Yeah, that's the strat that I've seen, but I've, I don't know how to do it. But, uh, ooh, Comet takes a death there. Okay. You normally have to touch the ground before you break both these walls, but both players showing us how it's possible to uh, do a little bit quicker. What you have to do is uh, you have to land a little bit more to the left. Um, and so when you dash, you get your dash back from the ground before you hit the wall. Oh, I see. So it goes far enough to hit the wall, so you can just dash again. Nice. So yeah, so in your runs, you can just land, just land a little bit farther left. And oh no. <laughs> Oops. Hab says 6A is awful no matter what you do, except it's apparently fun casually for some crazy people. Yeah, it is definitely not. It's definitely not the best, uh, not the most fun chapter to speedrun, or at least the most consistent, it feels, at times. Okay, the fight, and... The fight's fun. <laughs> Fight's not bad. The fight is really fun. Yeah, Hollow sucks, but uh, you get rewarded with one of, at least in my opinion, one of my one of the best parts in the game is speedrun. It's one of the best, and it's also definitely one of the easiest, which is nice. It's a nice break before Summit. Summit is long and hard. Crystal ships, I like 60% of 6A and hate the rest of it. Nice big old Kevin Block yeet there for Comet as Fell reaches the uh, reaches the same point here. We're gonna see him uh, using the momentum from this block to launch himself into the battle and fight. Very nicely done from both players. Hey Yaz and chat for the battle and fight. Here we go. Extremely smooth stuff from both runners. Whoa, Gin Ginster in the house. Gin Ginster, my dude, bringing in the raid. Thank you so much, Gin. Welcome in. This is the fourthest ever Moonberry Cup Celeste Any Percent Speed Run Race. Right now we have a absolutely amazing race from two of the fastest in the game, Comet and Fell. Welcome in, guys. Danny likes donuts. How are you? Brandon in the house. Welcome in. Hey, skills. Welcome in. Hey, yeah, indeed. Comment now into the final section and fell right on his heels. Oh, no. Ooh, fell getting crushed there by one of these falling blocks. Trying to make up some time. This is pure gaming. Comment now into the final oh. screen. Oh Ooh, God. narrowly evis avoiding a beam there. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one safe. Almost got beamed twice. And he is through and on his way to unlocking the first, last, and only power up in the game, a second dash. And now he's just going to do his best to optimize his uh, climbing here as we see Fell closing oh gosh, out. Actually closer. <laughs> Oof, both players almost getting beamed here in the final seconds of the battle and fight. Yeah, yeah. Fell has now leveled up and is making his way oh, towards this the base. Little cases, I'm sorry, Majama, but I do believe your first dash should also count as a power up. That's a good point. That's a good point. Two power ups in the game, I guess. A single death reflection by Comet, GG. Let's go to those notebooks before we go to the summit. And remember, summit does not have a postcard screen. 
So runners, I ask you to uh, park yourselves at the uh, climb screen after we take a look at the uh, notebooks. A five minute, 43 second reflection for Comet and a 606 for Fell. Fell's total now 2258. And Comet is, um, where are you at, Comet? Sorry. Uh, 2114. I don't, know, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> GG to both runners. It's extremely fast stuff here from right, both runners. Right. All right, I'd like to make a proposal. First sure. To beat Summit, first to beat Summit wins. First to beat Summit wins. Well, we could do like a second uh, fastest Summit time wins. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, just Comet. Comet, you know, me and him can agree that, you know, whoever gets the fastest Summit wins. Okay, what do you say, Comet? Make it, make it interesting. I'm good with that. Right. Comet's in. Right. Well, we'll have a, I'll have a, in the official records, we'll have the full time and we'll have an asterisk. Yes, that's that, okay. That's yeah, we just want to keep everything official. So uh, anybody's game truly right now, guys, whoever finishes Summit, both runners have agreed, will uh, take the win. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get Bag to that. And whatnot. Let's get to that climb screen. I'll count you down for the final climb. Runners are ready. Are we ready in chat? Let's finish off this fourthest ever Moonberry Cup in three, two, one, go. Put on some summit music here for you guys. Okay. Now the summit is an extremely long level with uh, elements from each of the previous levels. The first and the last sections, uh, which you're seeing the first section here, they are unique. They don't refer to any level in the past. Kind of bookends to the summit. Oh gosh, that was close. And fell with actually the early lead here. Those and zero meters not going so well. Just as a reminder, both players have agreed that whoever has a faster time in Summit will take the win. So much energy in chat. Good luck to both runners from Unga. Marker sends energy. Unga sends energy. Smoke page against her. Sal. I almost fell down uh, by failing the demo hyper at the end of zero meters. <laughs> it was very close. Fell with a slight advantage here, but both players very clean play from both. Comet gonna have to close this gap a little bit by shaving some frames. Danny likes donuts. Has anyone unlocked the magic word? Not yet, Danny. The magic word scallop potatoes? It could be. Okay, both players now reaching 1,000 meters at the exact same time, and now the screens are pretty well synced up. We have screen sync. I, uh, end, end of 500 and me didn't get along. What happened? I'm not ahead by two minutes anymore. <laughs> it's a dead heat now. Magic word, yes, there's a magic word contest uh, going on. It might take months for someone to win, but it's a really random word that I just, uh, I programmed in. If someone somehow says that word, uh, they're gonna win something. Both players now finishing up the stage onto 1500 meters. I don't know if it's everyone's uh, least favorite or, or favorite. This is actually probably the coolest as far as strats go. I agree. This is really cool to watch uh, done quickly. You can see right away both players uh, did a, a dash through another, uh, similar to the uh, the Celeste Resort demo dash through the wall right in the beginning there. They did another dash through a wall. That one's a lot easier though. Oh yeah, that one's significantly easier. Oh, and gosh, both players now doing this big room uh, speed manipulation and Comet actually taking a death there, allowing Fell to pull ahead. Oh. Ooh, another death. Oh, Comet no. getting stuck here. Fell taking a death, too. Oh, my God. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that orange bottle in the house. What's up, orange bottle? I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Ooh, that was interesting. Ooh, Fell taking a weird death, and now both players once again tied up, neck and neck. 
missed the wall bounce in the last 1500 room. I don't think I've seen that one before. Comet with a slight advantage now. Oh baby, it's gonna come down to a certain auto scroller skip. What's up, Brace? I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? Sushi Brace. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wow, very fast stuff from both players here. This is absolute gaming. Look at the speed. What wind. Comment here, approaching the uh, auto-scroller skip where you gotta kinda narrowly squeeze through this gap. Both players executing it perfectly. I recently learned that uh, skip thanks to Fell. It's really not that hard, but it's hard to do it fast. Ooh, where's my dash? Ooh. Fell misplaced his dash, allowing Comet to grab the lead here. I guess it went on vacation. When your dash goes on the lad's vacation. When your dash goes on the lad's holiday. Lad's holiday. Can the word be in a sentence or does it have to be a solo word? Oh, it can be in a sentence. It just has to be, uh, it just has to be said anywhere. Dash forgot to set their alarm on that one. Slept in. 2,500 meters. Right, Here we right, go. Right. Nice corner boost there from Comet. Showing you how to get this done really fast. Wow. The strats. Both players are going to make their way up to this uh, vertical corridor of spikes and grab the key and retry. Intentional retry, dash down, unlock the door. Really optimal movement here for both players. The dash is just social distancing itself from Madeline. Comet now showing us that no one needs to open doors. Pretty sure Comet doesn't even open doors at home. Just uh, slides under. Hard to and Fell showing us too, the door skip. As Comet hitting the final bubble. All right, all right, it's doable. 3,000 meters. That might actually be the last bubble in summer. Yeah, I think it is. It is. That is the final bubble. The ultimate bubble, if you will. The actual final bubble. Unga going with the uh, write the whole dictionary word by word in the chat. Aardvark, Abasi, <laughs> Abandon, Abased, Abbey, Abdicate, Abduct. Oh, that was an interesting one. Okay. Fellas. This is the best section of the run, by the way. Downdraft. The downdraft section. Oh, that's cool. I never knew that had a name. Yeah, downdraft, then updraft, then. Neutral then draft. No draft? <laughs> Sans <laughs> draft? Closed, closed window. No draft. I will be a good commentator one day. I know all the names of all the sections. Comment quickly now to flag 14. That was objectively wrong. Shut up, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been wrong before in my life. Little known fact. I'm just kidding, Kerry. I love you. If you've never been wrong before, are you going to win or lose the summit race? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Might be the least single known fact I've ever heard, it says Hab. Crystal ships, aluminum, condensation, espresso, jigsaw, lever. If nothing else, we might get some good poetry out of this. Oh, Jesus. Comet now touching down on flag six. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that might be it. Uh, there's a bunch of flags here that uh, that never get touched. Good thing Fell grabbed that one though, because he Definitely. didn't he didn't grab the one prior. 
It's just a little bit riskier. It's pretty safe for these guys, but uh, by not hitting the checkpoints, if you die, you're obviously going to lose a ton of time because you're going to go back multiple flags. I think I've got a sub-30 sub for the ads. The lads. I uh, will not be getting a sub-30 this run. I can, I can spoil that part, at least. Oh, I probably should have had file time on. I just realized I had chapter time on the whole time. I just, I just noticed that too for the first time. Oh no. Wow. What a run. 29-46. Guys, we just had a sub-30. Oh no, I went for flag two and I... Oh no. <laughs> may, may or may not have missed flag two. I'm trying to do the cool strat. Oh. Let's, just take it. Let's take it and then go back and do the cool strat. Okay, never mind. I give up. <laughs> One more try. Oh. Let's send all our energy to Phil here, guys, as he wraps up. <laughs> all the energy in the world. <laughs> all right, all right. This, one, this one spike is very OP. There we go. There we go. We got the cool strat, too. J Roig sends energy. Pom Top sends energy. Thank you, thank you. Strong finish here. Flag one. Fell the curl. Look at the speed. G. 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 What a race. 21 deaths for Comet and a 29.46. Absolute speed. Wait, hold on. I gotta go say hi to the birds. Oh, Fel's gonna Fel's gonna visit the birds real quick. Here you go. I don't know if you guys ever saw this over here, but I have some other birds too. 